Get ready to learn some crazy things about the world that we live in because here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. On June 10th, 1986, two and a half year old Michelle Funk from Salt Lake City fell into a creek near her home. When rescuers finally pulled her out of the creek over an hour later, she had no pulse and wasn't breathing. Doctors put her on a heart-lung bypass machine and rewarmed her blood. Unbelievably, when her blood finally warmed to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, she woke up and is still living to this day. The smallest commercial flight in the world is from the West Trey Airport to the Pop West Trey Airport between two small Orkney Islands north of Scotland. It's only a distance of 1.7 miles and if the wind is ideal it can take as little as 47 seconds from start to finish. There are hundreds of stone slabs dotting the coastlines of Japan that give advice. This advice includes high dwellings are the peace and harmony of our descendants. Remember the calamity of the great tsunamis. Do not build any homes below this point. And also if an earthquake comes beware the tsunamis and in fact some of these markers are more than 600 years old a handful of British companies are now offering paternity paid time off to take care of a pet in need the two abbreviated letters OK first appeared in the Boston Morning Post in March 23rd 1839 as a joke when it appeared in print it was intended to be a shortening of all correct the then humorous misspelling of all correct it appeared in newspapers and in the 1840 presidential campaign and after that we continue to use it to this day the Indianapolis 500 has claimed more than 60 lives at least one of them being an innocent bystander in 1931 a wreck by Billy Arnold sent a stray tire flying out of the racetrack and across a street where it struck and killed an 11 year old Wilbur Brink while he was playing in his front yard astronaut Neil Armstrong's lunar outfit was designed by the women's bra manufacturer Playtex I can breathe well and I got all kinds of support. In 1872, Victory Woodhull was the first woman to vie for the presidency. She ran as an Equal Rights Party nominee against Ulysses S. Grant. This was nearly 50 years before the 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote. There's an exhibition at the Isle of Wight Zoo in the UK dedicated to poop. It features feces from the animal world and the human world. It also features fossilized poo called coprolites that date back 140 million years. Dinosaur poop. In the original book, The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy's magical slippers were actually silver. They were changed to ruby red for the Technicolor movie because it was believed that they'd stand out better against the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Huh. Angela Stogner of the University of Vienna, Austria, discovered that giraffes can hum. The hum is a low frequency sound at about 92 hertz. There's a restaurant called Sub 6 located at the Per Aquam Nima restaurant in the Maldives that is located 20 20 feet below the surface of the Indian Ocean. You can sit near floor to ceiling glass windows and watch schools of fish and more than 90 coral reef species while you eat. The dwarf lantern shark, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, is the world's tiniest shark. A male measures only about 6.3 inches in length. There's a phenomenon known as heteropaternal superfecundation that is so rare that there is only a handful of documented cases in the world. The phenomenon is when two twins have have two different fathers. The gadget was the first atomic bomb ever made and was tested at Trinity Site, New Mexico on July 16th, 1945. The test, codenamed Trinity, was a success, unleashing an explosion with the energy of about 20 kilotons of TNT. Punt guns is a type of gun that was first used in the 1800s. They were used in commercial waterfowl hunting and these guns fired almost one pound shots that could kill 50 to 100 birds in a single shot. The barrels had openings upwards of two inches in diameter and weighed over 99 pounds and measured almost 10 feet long. Those are some big guns. Ann Hodges from Alabama is the only confirmed person in history that has ever been hit by a meteorite. On a clear day in November of 1954, she was having a nap on her couch when a softball sized hunk of black rock broke through her ceiling, bounced off a radio and hit her in the thigh, leaving
having a pineapple-shaped bruise. On January 21st, 1977, in his first day in office, President Jimmy Carter fulfilled a campaign promise by granting unconditional pardons to hundreds of thousands of men who had evaded the draft during the Vietnam War by fleeing the country or failing to register. Researchers that were training monkeys to recognize themselves in mirrors found that the first thing that the monkeys did was check out all the places on their bodies that they've never seen before, especially their genitalia area. Researchers found them contorting and spreading their legs in front of the mirror to get a better look at previously unseen corners of their bodies. In Sweden, blood banks send texts to blood donors to notify them whenever their blood helped save a life. Spain's national anthem, Royal March, has no lyrics. American company Cabot Guns has made the first gun made almost entirely from a piece of Gibeon meteorite that crashed to Earth approximately 4.5 billion years ago. The meteorite was originally found in Namibia in the 1830s. Yeah. That's a good that's a good use of precious meteorite. Bison may look slow and not very agile, but they can run at 35 miles per hour and jump as high as six feet off the ground. The Louvre Museum in Paris was the most visited museum in the world in 2014. There were 9.3 million visitors, almost the same amount of people as the population of Sweden. Approximately 1,500 earthquakes are recorded in Japan every year. Seahorse babies eat as much as 3,000 pieces of food a day. They have such a voracious appetite because they have no stomach and their digestive system has been described as inefficient, meaning that they must eat a lot in order to stay properly nourished. A frog's tongue is about a third of the length of its entire body. In comparison, if a human had the same size tongue, it would reach our belly button. Ha. Researchers at the University of Oxford and the University of Queensland discovered that the small tropical archer fish can be taught to accurately recognize human faces. When the researchers displayed played two faces side by side on a screen over a fish tank, one familiar and one unknown, the fish was able to recognize the same face 81% of the time in color and even more accurately in black and white images. The world's tallest tree is currently Hyperion, a 379 foot tall redwood in California's Redwood National Park. Donald J. Trump is the oldest US president in history at almost 71 years old. Dolphins can't chew their food. Their teeth are only used to grip food and they'll shake and rub it on the ocean floor to tear it into smaller, more manageable pieces. <laughs> The Moomin House Cafe in Bunkyo, Tokyo offers coffee, treats, and companionship of an enormous stuffed animal. They will actually seat you with a stuffed animal so that you don't have to dine alone. In Singapore, the importation or sale of gum is illegal unless you have a medicinal reason for needing it. There's a solar facility at Walt Disney World in Lake Buena Vista, Florida that is comprised of 48,000 solar panels and is in the shape of Mickey Mouse. Oh, sunshine for everybody! Oh boy! Research Researchers exploring the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands aboard the Okanos Explorer came across the world's largest sea sponge. It was found 7,000 feet below the ocean surface and measured 12 feet long and 7 feet wide. It's possible to be allergic to the cold. This allergy, called cold urticarial, is an allergic response to cold temperatures triggering hives, swelling, and itching. And if the allergy is severe enough, it can actually result in fainting, shock, or even death, and there is no cure. In a new study published in the Journal of Entomology, a research team from the University of Florida and Union College found that bedbugs love the colors black and red and hate yellow and green. Evil Knievel, the pioneer of motorcycle long jumping exhibitions, suffered 433 fractured bones and holds the world record for the most bones broken in a lifetime. I'm surprised the man just doesn't turn to dust. The world's largest species of earthworm can can be found in Gippsland in southeastern Australia. The giant Gippsland can get as big as 10 feet long. In 1972, a few years after being elected to Congress, Shirley Chrisholm became the first black woman to run for the presidency. She never expected to win, but she ran to prove that Americans could vote for a black woman. Queen termites have a really long lifespan, and they are the oldest termite in the colony. They can live up to 50 
50 years long and produce eggs for up to 10 years. Melba Toast and Peach Melba are both named after the most famous opera singer of the late Victorian era, Dame Nellie Melba. According to researchers at the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, moms who are supportive and nurturing during their children's preschool years can actually boost the growth of their kids' brains. They found that kids who were nurtured in their early years had a larger hippocampus, the part of the brain tied to learning, memory, and emotion control. Artist Mark Quinn creates self-portraits using his own blood as a medium. He casts his own head in plaster mixed with 10 pints of his own blood and then immerses it in frozen silicone. He's been doing this every year since 1991 as a way to preserve the natural aging process as well as a symbol of his dependency on alcohol. In 1998, Kevin Warwick, a professor of cybernetics at Reading University, became the world's first technical cyborg. He had a radio frequency ID implanted in his arm and could turn on lights by snapping his fingers. In ancient Rome, women thought that if you wore a leather pouch containing a cat's liver on their left foot during sex that it would prevent pregnancy. In 2014, the United States Department of Agriculture reported that the average American consumes up to 170 pounds of refined sugar every year. On January 15, 1919, a storage tank burst on Boston's waterfront releasing almost 2 million gallons of molasses in a 15 foot high, 160 foot wide wave. That looks delicious, but it's gonna kill me. It rushed through the city's north end at 35 miles per hour, killing a 10 year old boy and injuring many others. It was so powerful that it even swept a train off its tracks and toppled electrical poles. Instead of keeping your departed loved one in an urn on the fireplace mantle, now, thanks to the company Bios Urn, you can keep them in the form of a tree. Bios Urn created Bios Incube, which is an incubator that monitors and cultivates trees from human ashes in people's homes. In 2014, the comedian Nathan Fielder, star of the Comedy Central show Nathan For You, opened a parody coffee shop called Dumb Starbucks as a TV stunt. And now you're just a little bit smarter. Thank you guys so much for coming by today. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button and remember to come back here Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. Don't forget new videos every weekday, Monday to Friday. I will see you then.